Hello, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it is your maker2199 bringing you guys another commentary. Now this is the Gears of War special events for Valentine's and everybody has a butthead. <laughs> you know, I, I, I heard that term once, you know, from another channel the other day and I thought that was really funny. And um, so now I, I, <laughs> I got it into my system on calling these people buttheads and, you know, or, or hardheads, you know, but um. I don't know, I, I like her heads a little bit better. <laughs> but um, I just want to take a few moments here. We're playing um, Torque Bow Tag, Team Deathmatch, you know, Valentine's, you know, playlist. And it's really fun. It's really awesome. It's basically a Team Deathmatch with Torque Bows only. And um, the thing that I want to take a few moments to acknowledge is just the, the animations, you know. And it, it's really awesome. I know that the head that they have... They made it seem like they put like a mask or something on their heads, you know, something like from Goosebumps or some shit like that, you know. I don't know how many of you guys remember Goosebumps from back in the day, but I I remember watching that shit every time I got home from school. And um, it was really fun though, but it, that's kind of like what happened here, you know. They just got this big ass butt head on their head somehow and it's, it's a little bit creepy, you know. If you take a look at their face, you know, it's creepy and everything, but it's amazing. You know, but and what other game but Gears of War, you know, this is one of the reasons why I love the, the franchise so much, you know, because I haven't really played many games or, or other sort of games where they do this sort of stuff. And for me, it's just awesome, you know, like you get the little heart when you when you hit them, you know, because you get the little heart, you get the little heart also right here when, when you're aiming, you know, you could see it, you know, just light up and when people explode, you know, that is just awesome as well. <laughs> you know, the, the cog tags and a few little hearts come out and all of that, and it's it's really awesome, you know. Gears of War, they really go, you know, full blast in doing some of this stuff, and although it doesn't really change the game, it makes it cool, you know, just the change of animations and all of that, it makes it really cool and fun, and, and <laughs> that person was trying to get my cankles, but um, and makes it really cool and fun, you know, so so that's one of the reasons that I enjoy just coming here and playing events like this. Hopefully it does last till Tuesday, you know, till Valentine's, because it's been a while since they put up an, an event, and I was really looking forward, you know, to an event, and I don't know, it, it's here, I'm playing it, I'm having fun, I'm trying to balance my time, you know, between this game and the For Honor beta, but um, they're both really fun, and <laughs> I don't know, I've been having a lot of fun just... Destroying people on, 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 on these games right here, you know now I had said that I was gonna make a torque bow video, you know how to use it, you know tips and tricks So that's what this video is gonna be But before we get into that, you know, this is sprayer like I said before and I really do I, I th This map and me have a love-hate relationship, you know because it's really hard to win the match when somebody gets control, you know, when, when people get the higher ground, it's really hard to win the match. So people usually rush to that, you know, to that higher ground right there, and as long as you can control it, you basically have eyes throughout the entire map. As long as there's a team there that knows what they're doing, it's going to be really difficult for the opposing team to take them out, so... You know, you're, you're gonna see a little bit of that on, on this gameplay, you know, they were, the opposing team was here, we've basically already penetrated, so we're making our way up here, and we're just trying to take control, you know, and, and once you get people that know what they're doing, you know, and they have a good understanding of Gears of War, the maps, and how they're laid out, and all of that, you know, you're gonna be able to do fairly well. So I do want you all to keep that in mind, so... <laughs> To start with the tips and tricks, you know, this is a torque bow, and like I've said, this is a weapon that I really don't use. Um, I, I've used it very little, and um, the reason being is that it's really difficult for me to use because of the time that it takes. I, I can never measure it quite well, and like I said, I don't like making tips and tricks videos um, unless I absolutely know that what I'm talking about is, you know, basically a fact, you know, almost 100% a fact, and... I already figured some stuff out, so I decided to make this tutorial, and I, I had been practicing with the torque bow a little bit before, so let's dive right into it. So the really first thing that we need to keep in mind is that for the torque bow, you need to let it, you know, get the entire, you need to get, <laughs> this is going to sound awkward, and I don't really want it to, you know, but... <laughs> 
you know, the heck with it, you know, you need to let the torque pull, you know, the thing get fully erect, you know, the little laser, you know, don't, don't let that shit go flaccid, because <laughs> before it, it gets fully erect, you know, it's a little bit flaccid, and, and if you shoot it, it's gonna shoot, it's, it, it's kind of like bullet drop, you know, it's like you're shooting a sniper and there's gravity affecting it or something like that, so it's, it's gonna go awkward, you know, it's gonna have a little, uh, what is it, <laughs> I can't think of the word right now, but it's, the trajectory is not going to be straight, you know, it's going to be going down a little bit, you know, kind of, it's going to have a little bit of a drop, you know, depending how you wreck you got it, I guess. <laughs> but um, here you see me, you know, str straight up just shoot for the active reload and the reason that I did that, you know, the active reload for the torque ball I noticed allows me or you to be able to get the the freaking thing ready you know before it's it's kind of like giving it viagra you know it fucking gets you wrecked right away and you have you know full use of your torque right away and it, it really takes like the two or three second delay that the regular torque bull has and makes it into like one second delay to maybe one and a half you know and um that's one of the biggest tips that i can give you guys when using the torque bow now because this is an event you know i've always said Tip number two is always play these events, even if you're playing against a few bots and stuff like that. The only way to get better is by practicing, you know, and, and these events are great practice, you know. Just look at me, look, I'm, I'm missing a ton of shots. I'm not really caring because I know that I, I'm going to be able to get more torques, you know. I know that I'm going to be able to pick up more torques and do a lot more work and stuff like that. So having that in mind, you know, I'm just not afraid to use it, you know. It's not like when I play multiplayer and there's only one drop and I only have five five shots you know I'm really efficient with it you know I shot her dick off you know I, I have no clue what I, what happened there I couldn't believe it I was raging when I went that shit went through her legs but um yeah I guess it happens you know <laughs> but you know like I was saying you know just when I'm playing just the core game yeah I'll, I'll be really conscious and really careful on how I'm using my ammo and stuff like that you know being really efficient and that's an another thing you know a lot of gamers are not efficient with what they're using you know and you gotta just be efficient you know so what do i mean and unfortunately i didn't record this video because i i have a lot of videos that are recorded and i don't i don't i don't have that much space on my hard drive to keep on filling it up but i was playing the other day against a bunch of people and i just destroyed them you know they couldn't handle me so i when I picked up the freaking torque, you know, and, and I'm playing on foundation, a map that I know fairly well, you know, and I just destroyed people with it. I, I picked up three torques and I killed anywhere between 10 to maybe 13 people with it, you know. So that's really efficient, you know. You got five, t five torque, you know, t five chances every time you pick it up to kill somebody. So I, I shot like a 70% or higher, you know statistically speaking so that was really efficient i did really well and, and we just controlled the map so tip number two when you're using the torpo like that person you know she's hiding and, and it, it's a weapon that you gotta use a little bit more campy um, because it, it takes a while for the laser to get up like i was saying you know it, it takes a little bit of time for it to charge and you gotta either get a headshot or stick them one or the other you know and that's the most effective way to use it and on this gameplay already when I killed the person that was on top I, I shot a piece of cover and it killed him so that's another thing that you can do if you can shoot really near a piece of cover where they're at you're gonna be able to kill them you know so not because you can't see them or they're hiding you know try to shoot them at their feet you know try to try to position it perfectly where you could shoot it at their feet or really close to their body you know or their heads and you'll take them out you know it does have explosion damage so what that means is that after the torque explodes you know it's gonna deal a little bit of damage around the surrounding area kind of like a grenade just not as powerful and um that's all you have to keep in mind you know is uh, you could use it kind of like a little grenade launcher or whatever and as long as it's with, within the vicinity of the player pretty darn close to it you'll kill him but it's a little bit harder so i usually try to get a headshot or, or a stick you know sticking people is a lot easier headshots it's a little bit more advanced and i don't know what this guy is doing he's probably pleasuring his torque ball on the corner here you know but <laughs> i don't know it was making a weird ass sound <laughs> but um yeah you know and, and, and just keep that in mind though <laughs> it's it's really awesome you know just to 
to learn some of these stuff and be able to share some of these tips because I, I played against some players and I'm going to hopefully post that shortly where some of these people were playing like complete bots and like you couldn't tell the difference if they were a bot or an actual player so hopefully we we get some of you guys to do a little bit better you know to to play better than a bot hopefully <laughs> but um yeah i'm not the best torque bow player but i i do fairly well you know that this was a pretty darn good gameplay if i don't say so myself and um you guys are i, I don't want to spoil it there's still a little bit left here but just watch this you know i'm i'm this is an, um, a weapon that I was saying that you, when you get power weapons like this, you know, the, the main pur purpose is to control an area of the map. And that's exactly what I tried to do here. I, I killed that freaking dude. He kept on camping there. If you guys hadn't noticed from the beginning of the, the video and stuff like that, that's the guy that kept on camping there. So I was really happy I was able to get him. So now I'm just going to go up here and do what they were doing. You know, I'm like, fuck that bullshit. You know, it's my turn. And I know that a few of them knew that I was there, but look look at the area that I'm talking about. Look at how widely open I could just look at the map. And that guy's just playing stupid because he's, he's playing it, you know, he's at a really good area, but he was playing it where everybody else could see him. <laughs> so, yeah, I just thought that was really ridiculous. You know, if you're if you're gonna do stuff like this, like what I'm doing here, it's a little bit campy and stuff, but I'm 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 gonna control this part of the map you know right here and just take a few people out and my aim is a little bit awkward I did lower it a little bit but <laughs> I'm still struggling a, a bit with it and that it has to be because of the Nasher you know when people get close to me and I'm using the Nasher I can't turn around if I don't have a name that and a name that moves pretty darn fast so right here I'm trying to hit an area you know close to that player hopefully hoping that the splatter damage is gonna get him you know but I, I couldn't and I threw one you know near the area of that other player I know this other guy is still right here so I'm just gonna try to get him again you know he hasn't moved and right there you know caught him on the knee took him out you know my teammate couldn't do it so <laughs> you know I have to go in and sometimes I feel like I have to go in and do fucking everything for you know some of my teammates and shit but um that's just the way the game is <laughs> but yeah so get that torque bow, you know, get the freaking laser, you know, make sure it's fully charged. Um, shoot him right there, headshot, you know, and that, that was unintentional, you know, I didn't intend that, you know, this guy's oblivious right there, you know, I shot, I shot behind the map, I thought I should have shot him, I didn't, but he didn't roll out, you know, and the splatter damage that I was talking about, you know, just, just took him out, you know, so that's another way you could use the torque, and get those active reloads you know sometimes i miss them like right there and stuff like that but i'm trying you know and right here you know don't don't just stand still you know unless you're in an area like me you know this like i said being up here is super advantageous you know it's it's extremely advantageous you, you guys have no clue and there's there's this dickhead again just trying to fucking do that gear support that he bullshit with their where they just you know camp their little ass off without getting in cover like I did that once against a player and he took me out, no clue how, but he took me out, he headshotted me and I was behind cover. So, you know, <laughs> knowing that, knowing that somebody did that to me, you know, I'm gonna try to practice it myself. I know, I know they're somewhere around here and I, I think that guy got took, somebody took him out, I think. Not sure, but I'm, I'm gonna take some of these guys out, hopefully, and try to get that big, the big W and I, I was shooting for a score because I had seen the scoreboard earlier. And I had 19 and I'm trying to get to 20 at least. And that's really good for one of these gameplays because like I said, I'm not really a torque person. And all of the big channels that have been posting this, I have only seen one player go beyond my score so far. You know, now I'm not saying that I'm the best. I'm not claiming to be the best or have the best gameplay. I'm just saying that I've only seen one player as of now have a better score than this game that I got here. And right there I ran out of torch. I was trying to go pick it up and, and there was none so I was waiting for it and finally they took him out. So I, I did pretty well, you know. Hopefully some of you guys do pick on some of the tips. I know they're really, really basic but, <laughs> you know, that's the best that I can give you guys because I'm not that great with it, you know. So hopefully it does better your game, you know. I'll teach you guys a little bit more strats to using in some of the later videos. Hopefully you guys like and sub and I'll see you guys on the next one.